Hello everyone and welcome to another Fusion tutorial. This time I show you how to simulate volumetric fire by using 3D planes in Fusion 3D space. And we start with a new comp and create a 3D shape, which we just move around a little bit. Move. We switch to the wireframe mode to see the subdivision level, which we increase a lot since we need that for the displacement. Then we create a fast noise and adjust the resolution so that it matches the subdivision level of the 3D shape. We play around with the values so that we create a look that actually represents flames moving around. And we increase the seeth rate so that we get this fiery look. We also want the flames to move along the y-axis, but since we don't want actually animate it by hand, we add a quick expression. So we automate the center's animation along the y-axis by making it dependent on the actual time value. We increase the contrast to get the looks of the flames a little bit better. Then we add the displacement tool, which we just connect to the 3D shape and decrease the scale a little bit. We then add a 3D duplicate tool just to get the volumetric look for later to have a shape, a 3D shape that actually represents the volumetric a little bit better. And to break up the shape a little bit, we just add a little bit of time offset just to get rid of this uniform look. Then actually we assign a three-dimensional texture space using the UV map tool. We then create a replaced material node and so we can start texturing the cube. We add a gradient node, which actually uses the 3D texture sh space that we just assigned by the UV map. What we do want to achieve with it is to create a volumetric core. So we use the square mode and play around with the gradient so that we get this look. Then we create a falloff node, which actually uses the incident to the camera. We adjust the values a little bit. And we actually then add the colors so that we get this fiery look. Just add a little bit of the colors that you think your fire should look like. When you're satisfied with the look, we add a channel boolean material to multiply the falloff with the gradient. We put the falloff in the background, the gradient in the foreground, and we multiply the color values with each other. So that we get this look. We then add a camera and renderer, which we switch to OpenGL renderer and also to 16-bit float to actually keep the HDR values the renderer is creating. We then add a little bit of motion blur to create more realistic flames. Now we do some color correction. We have a brightness contrast node here. We decrease the gain a little bit as well as the saturation. And we increase the contrast a little bit.
Now we clip the whites and the blacks and we add the blur node and we blur that quite a little bit and then we overlay that one over the original one so that we get this really nice fiery look. So just one more brightness contrast and we increase, decrease the gain a little bit and a little bit more saturation. So the last thing we do here as color correction is add a little bit of glow. Adjust the size a little bit and now we have here our flames. So if you don't like the cubic look of the flames, you can go back to the gradient and change the settings a little bit. So switch it to a radial gradient and play around with the settings, so just what you need for your scene. Then we want to add a camera animation, so we go to the transform and we animate the translation as well as the rotation. So we change the camera view so that we can actually see what we're animating. So we zoom out a little bit. Go to a middle frame and watch the final result. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful and goodbye!